So let's take a quick look at the clustering operation which can be performed using SciPy. For that, I would import stuff from scipy.cluster.vq. So basically, uh, this is where all your clustering methods are stored. VQ is a sub package in the cluster package, which has your clustering functionality. I would uh, import k-means as this is the clustering algorithms used. VQ, which stands for vector quantization, which uh, would be used in prediction and whiten this uh, is a method which is used for a normalization purpose okay, so it divides your array by the standard deviation also let's start by creating an array so let uh, a be the array which we are going to be using so this is a it has the points 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 4 comma 1 and 4 comma 2 so there are four data points in an array or your matrix so you must consider each of these as separate data points so if you have a cartesian space so 1 comma 1 is your first data point 1 comma 2 is your second data point 4 comma 1 is your third data point and 4 comma 2 is your fourth data point uh, also, let's uh, okay. so now let's try to whiten this array. So let's store it in B. Let's say whiten of A. So <clears throat> basically, what this does is it computes the standard deviation uh, of the elements and uh, divides them by that. So you can see that if this is so if the first column is uh, one para one attribute, uh, it has computed the standard deviation and divided by the, the standard deviation of that attribute. It has done the same for the other attribute. Uh, now I can perform clustering on this, uh, on either of the arrays by using the k-means method. So let's do that. K means so if I do it on A, it would be the raw data, but if I do it on B, it would be after whitening. So let's do it on A first. Uh, so I pass A and the number of clusters I want. So basically, this returns uh, a tuple. In this tuple, there is an ND array which is called the code book. So basically the code book tells your cluster centers. So this says that uh, you have two clusters. Uh, the centroid of the first one is 1 comma 1.5 and that of the second one is 1 comma 1.5. And the second term the tuple uh, talks about the error. Uh, so now I have computed the cluster centroids. What I would want to do is try to predict this on any data I have. So for this, I can use uh, A or I can create another matrix or another set of data points. Uh, I'm not going to create another set of data points. I would show how you can predict on A. For the purpose of prediction, you would use the VQ method. To this, you would pass the matrix containing your uh, data points so this would be a in our case uh, and you would pass the code book essentially the code book is the zeroth element of k so you can pass that and this tells you uh, the distance from so this tells you the cluster uh, number so you can see that so let me print a so if this is a you can see that the point 1 comma 1 is assigned to cluster 0 where cluster 0 is 1 comma 1.5 uh, and also this array tells the distance so you can see that it is at a distance of 0.5 from the cluster center so this is the euclidean distance this uh, same i mean if you check for the other points it is true for the other points as well so this is basically how you can do uh, clustering you might want to cluster after whitening so you can do that as well so instead of passing a you can pass b with two points so this is b so these are your new centroids after whitening and you can also predict 
using that so i would pass b and k1 of 0 so this is your prediction uh, after whitening so uh, this is how you can do clustering using scipy let me talk quickly about the nd try function so this is a special function which can be found in the special package uh, this function has been used uh, further in the course so let's just uh, look at how the function can be used for that you would have to import the nd try function from uh, scipy.special And to this function, you can pass a scalar value or a matrix. So essentially what this function does is that uh, it returns the argument x for which the area under the Gaussian probability function is equal to y. So uh, if you pass a value y to this function, it would return the value x for which uh, the area would be equal to uh, the area under uh, the Gaussian curve would be equal to y. So basically this is an integration from minus infinity to x which would yield y. So basically you can uh, say that uh, it is trying to compute x such that y equal to uh, integral of minus infinity to x and inside the integral is your Gaussian function or your standard Gaussian function. So let's say O point four so this is the value of x at which the uh, complicated integral i talked about would be uh, 0.4 we can also pass in arrays so let's do that So this is uh, how you can also pass in arrays. You can use a number of other special functions in the, in the same way. This is how you use your special functions. Uh, ND try was an example. You can also uh, take a look at the other special functions. You can find a link to the special functions in the references page we just saw. So in this page, if you click at special functions, you can see all the special functions which are present so it is a long list you have bessel you have zero bessel function so these are special functions which can be used so go ahead and uh, use these special functions whenever you need the nd try function is used further up in the class so uh, i have talked about so this brings an end to the scipy lesson of this unit uh, so here we have looked at scipy and looked at the reference section to scipy like the online documentation so you can go there and check out the various functions scipy uh, provides and we have also uh, taken a deeper look at clustering and special functions so uh, go ahead and take a look and uh, play with scipy